Welcome back, GoCast number six, season two in the books, and we're ready to get it started. Season three starts tomorrow. Welcome back. Yes, very exciting. Um, for any of you that haven't seen that YouTube video, it's very funny, and you get to see the very strange nature of goats. And uh, you know, there's two that aren't too far from here. Oh on yes, Ferris Road. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, two of the best uh, animals on the planet, I'd say, on the mountain. Yes. Uh, Highly personable. I've actually <laughs> gone right up to the fence a couple times. It's, they're doing very strange things all the time, like trying to climb a tree that's about a foot tall, <laughs> sitting on a rock and just, you know, gazing at the roosters below, nervous. <laughs> so anyone who hasn't seen them, go check it out. We we thought about doing like a photo opportunity or something. With I'm them. sure we will still. We'll still try to get it in. So, anyways, we're the goats. We're back. Uh, very excited. Season starts tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to, you know, go over a rundown here, uh, season preview, player preview, get into a couple things, and uh, we're just going to jump right into it. Yeah, yeah. And so, as you guys know, this year um, we did a total mix-up of the teams for Fall League, um, We and it really made some interesting teams. Um, kind of took Aaron and pulled him off of Glory Days, paired him with Brian Lehman, because not role models kind of blew apart. Um, we still have we have five teams this year down from eight, but it looks like the five are pretty evenly matched up, and so it should be pretty competitive. Yeah, pretty exciting. And um, what was I going to say? Congratulations to Glory Days last year. Uh, Lame. Ended up winning it all, beating Mountain Mayhem, and Mountain Mayhem is not even in our league this year. If they can join back in in the spring... I have verbal confirmation that they'll be back in the following season. So, yeah, so that's spring. And if they just added their team, we'd have six amazing teams. So, pretty excited. Um, let's run down the new teams. Kind of the core of Dream Team um, ended up going together with captains Tanner, Jarvis, and Grant. And they ended up with a similar team. Except oh, for they so added they're going by Flint Tropics this year. Yes, very important. Isn't I that like a, I was confused by what? I always think of Tropic Thunder. That's like the movie. movie. I know. It's a movie, but a different and one. And then I think of Flint Eastwood. And that's not a real person. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I, I guess I didn't tune into that. It's like a movie. It's a movie. It's a Will Ferrell movie. Yeah. It's very like one I haven't seen, which is weird. But anyways... Um, yeah, so Tanner and Jarvis are kind of heading that up as captains. I think was Grantless Grant was captain. Yeah, and, and so, but they pretty much retained their squad. Tanner, Jarvis, Grant, <laughs> Connor, um, and then they picked up uh, Garrett Salazar from Mayhem, uh, Corey, Corey Carbaugh, and so they got some height this year, kind of what they were lacking last well, year. Well, yeah, two guys over six five added to their team last year. Thought they were really missing that some rebounding. Also, Skyler Martinez, who I don't do you know him? No. I do not know him. So I don't he, know anyone the name starting with Sky. Or ending with Lar. <laughs> Edgar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Isa also rounds up their squad. He um, graduated a few years back. Uh, he's got a good outside shot. I haven't played with them in a while, so we'll see how he is. Yeah, could be a nice addition. Um, so that that's Flint Tropics. Um, Fearless. Probably Fearless. are the team that's with most newcomers, um, kind of a mishmash of guys. Uh, Wait, but how many newcomers? One, two, three, kind of four, one, five, two, six. Three. Yeah, so, yeah, he's entirely new. Marco was in the league two years ago, but he's going to be added to this squad. He didn't play last year. And then added with Jared Medley, who was on Not Role Models. Really, they're, only, they're the only people that have played in the league. And then we added five other guys, not really seen too much. Um, two or three of them played with us in high school. Uh, Trevor Soderholm is going to be a good addition for them. Um, tense guard, and then also Ronnie Doherty getting back in the mix. Rim high school legend. <laughs> Try to <laughs> rim high school legend. <laughs> trying to get back in the mix. We we're trying to get him last year, so I'm glad he's in the season this year. Yeah, he seems to be healthy. Gabe Gonzalez plays a lot down in Crestline. Robert Spinuzzi, I think that's a fake name. I don't even <laughs> believe it. Robert Spinuzzi. Yeah, but that's Jared's friend. Supposedly, he's pretty good. Um, is he Italian? As per either that or really into guns. I don't know. Is he spin Uzis? That's dumb. I'm sorry. That's funny. Oh. Um, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> and then Tra Nick Husted. Never met him. Heard he's about Adam Altmaier's size. 
This is, I have no idea what this is. Adam Altmaier says without a beer gut. Um, that's what I heard. So that's what Tanner, that's <laughs> How much what, are we taking off for that? That's what Tanner said. That's what Tanner said? Yeah. No beer gut. Hmm. So anyways, Fearless, very kind of wild cardy team. Um, I like it remains to be seen. It's up in the air. We'll see. Trevor and Marco, I'm telling you, defense. They're going to be pests. They're going to be full court pressing the entire game. Yeah. It's going to be uh, annoying. Yeah. Um, new, team, new team formed Monstars. Trio captains of Aaron Cook, Kenny Acosta, Brian Lehman. Uh, Aaron Cook came from uh, last year's winning team. Uh, Glory days. Glory days, thank you. Brian Lehman, probably the better, best big man last year. Yeah, and so look at the size out of those three. And now we add... Kenny and Brian, how many of me do you think would make up a Kenny Brian combo. You could fit five of you inside of Kenny. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> we can check that out later this year. We'll, we'll work on we'll it. We'll YouTube it. <laughs> <laughs> you can Google anything. <laughs> <laughs> and then they added uh, Marcus Fort, who's new to the league, new to the mountain, um, first year coach at RIM. Uh, be a good point guard for them. Yes. So that was a big addition. Um, Ryan Barlow we play with on Sundays. Brett is the hustle master um, that was on, what was that team last year? A Splash Mountain. And his, his buddy, James R Ross Bash? Rosebach. Okay. And Matt Hanneman, who we don't know who he is. So a little bit of wild card at the end of the bench, um, but should be a, a front runner this year, this team. With yeah, definitely. Ken, Kenny and Brian down low, Aaron and Marcus on top. That's going to be a good team. Moving right along, uh, last year's winner, season two, reigning champions, glory days. Probably uh, the most overrated team this year. Um, ever. Yeah. This year ever. Uh, kind of captained um, by Adam, but most of the talent-wise, I would say, in uh, Sean Giordano, Steve Creswell. I'm kidding, Adam. Um you just pissed him off so bad. Steve Creswell, MVP of the first year. He averaged like 30 and 16 or yeah, something. Yeah, played with Goat. Um, coming back, taking a year hiatus, and uh, we'll, we'll see you know, if he's, if he's still MVP material. I'm guessing he's, he is. Yeah, and you had that with Sean, who played with them all through high school, I think. Run a lot of pick and roll. They're going to be tough to guard. And then we add Brady, who was on their team the last two years. Right. Uh, they lost Bruce to injury. Um, they're adding Michael Carroll, a guy that's been playing on Sundays with us. Um, kind of a point guard type guy, good backup for Sean. And Edgar has been added to the team. He's not listed here, but yes, Edgar is. They can't see this addition. list, but oh, this isn't a video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so Edgar got added, which is a great boost for them. And then Jeff Wilson, who. I don't know who this person is. You know Jeff. Wilson. He's washed my car a few times. Seems like a really nice guy. Wants to get back in shape. How low does he get when he washes your car? Does he get a good stance? Defensive stance. Yeah, he gets those rims like crazy. <laughs> get down there. <laughs> um, keeps the car in front of him. And then we have Goat. Keeps uh, the car. Yes. Um, kind of, well, here's John has a long spiel about What's the why he wasn't a captain, blah, blah, blah. Oh, don't make it long, but... No, I I probably won't be playing um, past three, four weeks. And, no, I don't think it's a big deal that... Okay. Well, you weren't a captain, but you're still on our team. I, people, ooh, it's not fair, but how could he I will, I, take you know, a roster spot on someone else's team? Either I'm going to start my job in a month, or I will be unemployed and <laughs> <laughs> screw you all. I'm going to be playing in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, so uh, the captains of this team on paper on draft night was uh, me, Stan, who was returning from GOAT last year, and Drew Herrera, who is a new, new player. Um, hasn't doesn't have a lot of basketball experience. Yeah, he's probably the worst player in the league. He's new to the game. Uh, so we added him on our team. You know, he just, just wants to get out there and have some fun. So I don't know. On my list... Well, we'll get to our projections sure. in a little bit. Also, we'll returning uh, Justin Abrantes, and then we added uh, John Adling, another rookie 
Uh, hasn't played the big man. I haven't played with him in a couple years. Uh, he did come the other night and played. Um, he moved off the mountain, but wants to get, wants to even drive up for the game. So John's added to our team since we know him. And Cherise Anderson, you spelled her name wrong. Cherries? You spelled Cherries. <laughs> when I put her name on the Facebook page, I, I put Cherise, you know, and then Anderson, and then you go to the next line, and... It wrote Pamela Anderson, <laughs> and then I like I posted it, and I was like looking the next day to repost she's things, and it says Shirley's Pamela Anderson. I'm like, oh, she's probably so offended. <laughs> the one girl in the league, and I like, uh, <laughs> yeah. So we have Sharice as well, the uh, girls' coach up at Rim. So there's seven of us there. Seven? Seven. Yes. So that's the, we lost a player, Daniel Mears, to injury. So and we have probably seven. lose another one five weeks from now when I stop coming. So we'll see. We'll see. I might just call in sick once a week, every week. See how long I keep this job. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. So now that we've kind of run down all the teams, what do you kind of project uh, these teams placing or odds for championship? Well, here we you go. Do anything I, like that? Sure. Or? I need. You know, I'm do you want to do power rankings? I'm at the stage, yes. P- preseason power rankings? I'm at the stage where I, I need some kind of motivation in my life. And instead of dancing around it, I'm going to say that we will win every game by at least 20 points. Well, actually, on the way here... Um, uh, 8 points. 28? <laughs> no, 8 points. Well, what I was going to say is I was going to offer a team's league fees back mm. if anyone got within 10 points. Wow. I like that. I was going to say that. But you're not going to say that? I want to say that. But don't say it. Um, I don't think people are going to be coming close to us this year. Uh, I do I wanna, think it's wanna, more even, but I think everyone's just going to get outplayed and outskied. I, I want to up my trash talk a little bit this year. You know, I just feel like last season we... Well, you have a chick on your shoulder. Ah, you know, I had these babies and I wasn't... It's an excuse, whatever. The baby goats. The baby goats. This year we're hungry. We're hungry. I'm angry. I'm angry now. I'm hungry. So, okay, whatever. Moving past that, um, I, 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 Glory Days, I obviously. Us with, I foresee us number one in power rankings. Sure. We'll put us at a one and then a distant. Tied for second place are four teams. Um, <laughs> no. No, Glory, obviously Glory Days. Now, Glory Days and Monstars, compare. Who do you think, like even night number one, we're going to talk about. Lines sure. and stuff, but we won't talk about the line right now. But who, uh, honestly, what teams at the rosters same? top to bottom? It's pretty dang even. Um, you know, I think a lot is going to depend on how well Steve, you know, obviously right. dominated the first season. So if he can, it's if different he can, this year. But it's different because you know we I have like he, centers on every can, team. You, know, you match up Brian and Steve, and then Sean and Aaron, and then Kenny and Adam. So, you know, maybe it comes down to all these guys that we don't even know who they are. Yeah. So, we'll see. It's pretty even. I don't know. Yeah, we'll talk about the line tomorrow night. But I I see Monstars kind of number two in the power rankings. That's just me. I'll, I'll, I'll give them the edge. I think I think they're going to be too much. Too big. Look how big they are. Kenny and Lehman. Yeah. It's like 11 of me. Well... Five of you fit in Kenny, is that what I said? <laughs> yeah, I measure things in John's. <laughs> and then, five yeah. John's. <laughs> Brian, six John's. Four John's. Yeah, that's funny. It's kind of weird. but um, as, a, as a team, they're pushing 50 John's. <laughs> <laughs> so I see Glory Days finishing third. Well, they're ranked three power rankings for me. Now, Fearless and Flint Tropics. How do you place those two? Fearless. Um, just because of the intensity that Marco and Trevor are going to bring. In the front court, yeah. Or is that back court? Um, I don't understand that. I think it should be front court. Flanker? No, really. Guards are... Should be front court. <laughs> okay, well, we'll write a letter or something. To who? <laughs> to the Naismith. Basketball. <laughs> Hall of Fame. Runners. Yeah. Um, but until then, so we'll you see fear- guards. Okay, you see Fearless kind of falling in the four spot. I... Flint I Tropics do, in the five. Um, and it's not that Flint Tropics is much worse. I just, I, Marco and Trevor, they'll they can they be play every game like it's like they're dying the next day, and so they'll just come after it regardless. And even if their team's playing horrible, they'll isn't that a Tim McGraw song? Play like you're play dying. Play like you're dying. Yeah, that's how they both. Yeah, they bring that Tim McGraw 
attitude. Yeah, but mindset. It's, yeah, it's just they do very apocalyptic. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it, you know, Flint Tropics. I it's see, all really close. I see I them. Mean, they're the youngest team. These guys are... They've all pretty much played together on a high school team, so it's like they probably fit together the most out of anything. They had some close games last year, and now we added 2-6-5 in over, guys. So, yeah, maybe they play a zone, right? I think uh, JoJo is actually a big loss for them because they kind of, he was kind of like their their backbone. Him and Jarvis would get out there and just get every loose ball. So. East is a wild card to me. I don't even know. He's uh, Phil Pot. Phil East. Pot. Fill up the... No, nah, there's nothing there. What should I do? <laughs> it's uh, full pot. Easy. It's easy. This is full pot. Um, moving on, I think. Yeah, probably. Let's do um, something we like to do every... Are we moving on to week one here? So we, we did a little... Uh... Oh, no. Are we going to do... Our... <laughs> Sorry about All that. right, we'll do a little line dancing here. Line dancing, what we do is we, on. we each kind of write down the, what we think the score is going to be or what the line should be for each game, and then we set a line, a Vegas line. And you guys can debate and bet. You can call uh, we do take bets. John Sports Bookie dot com dot nookie um, <laughs> slash edu. <laughs> so first game, Flint Tropics versus Goats, 6 o'clock. Um, here we go. Now, we're only going to have four people, I've heard. Oh, yeah. That's we have legit. That's seven cool. rostered. I think we're only at four, but so let's, let's write that. Keep that in mind. I think Tanner's gonna have six or seven. But um, oh, I have exciting news to share. That's, I'm gonna I'm gonna write all three about quick. stats. Okay. Um, okay, I'm ready. So Flint Tropics goat. What's your line? Thirty-five. Goat minus thirty-five. Wow, I have goat minus twenty-five. We don't, we will only have four players. So we'll narrow that down to thirty. So what the heck? Thirty is the official. How could we beat someone by thirty-five with four players? I don't know. I told you I'm being way overly confident. Okay. And cocky. All right. Well, I'm trying something. There you go. I'm trying something <laughs> in my life. I need to be more. Assertive. I'm gonna been a pushover. <laughs> Too long. Okay. Uh, Monstars versus what do you got? Glory Days. I have Monstars minus two. Monstars minus three. Okay, so minus two, two and, and a half. half. And lastly, Goat versus Fearless. Goat has the double header. Goat will be getting a player or two for that eight o'clock game. So yeah, we'll I think you know Stan will be returning for that. I, I got Goat minus seventeen. I have Goat minus eighteen. Seventeen and a half. Wow. Seventeen and a half. Put so it out there. There's your lines. Um. You can bet if you want. Whatever. Some of you might think that, you know, we're a little biased. Fine. Well, just wait till you see the box scores. By the way, by, on, the, on the thing of box scores, kind of, I was overwhelmed last year. You had two babies or something, and I was going through midlife crisis. Kind of had too much on my plate. Just coming out of that. I got a golf cart. Um, Ferrari golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> I drive it around in forest. Um... <laughs> No, it was I was overwhelmed. <laughs> I was taping the games, having to bring the footage to Charizard, having to collect the footage from Charizard, Posting pictures, putting stuff on the hard drives for people to get their game. It was Weekly too much. Stats. Anyway, point being, we have health this year. Yeah, Jarvis and Tanner have kind of looked to join forces and help out. And they're going to, we're going to film the games, and they're going to do stat collecting and, and stat importing. inputting to website. Um, very exciting for John and I, and they might even have a weekly show called Flint's. Well, we'll let them name it. Flint's Eastwood. Flint's Eastwood. Is probably <laughs> what we would go with. That's um, funny. So, um, so yeah, so that'll like be like a weekly rundown show. Though, yeah, like what happened it'll, in the it'll, game. It'll, it'll make things more fun, and but that was suggested. It's a lot of work, but you know, I'll try to put together some highlight films here and there. We got a highlight film of season two coming out if we ever can. Upload the thing. It's 32. I had the worst long. day of my life today. <laughs> it's a 32 minute long video, and it's hard to get that thing on the internet, but it is made. So hopefully, we can get it. It'll on. be posted soon. Um, but yeah, very exciting. We can focus more. Maybe get a goat cast or two in every once in a while now. Yeah. 
and we can relax a little bit because that was crazy last year, and I'm excited for the help. Which is probably why we lost. Let's be honest. Yes. So, or because I shot 28 times a game. Is that what you? Let's. I'm gonna look that up. If I shot 20, it, it's true though. I averaged 28 points a game. No, you. Tw yeah, you led the league in scoring by a long shot. I averaged 28 and 14. Wow, 14 rebounds. That's stupid been like for me. A, Okay, it's not loading. I had 27 in one game. <laughs> um, all right, well, let's see. What, what do we got next? Um, Man in the mirror. Or do you want to project our own selves for the year yet? Or do you want to do... For the year, huh? Okay. Well, I have a whole new dynamic on the team this year. I am so happy. What do you got then? I don't have to score. How about what's your goal? What's your season goal? What's my goal? Yeah, what are your main goals? Like, you know your goal? Know your goal. Okay. Know your role. Know my goal. My goal is to average the same amount of threes as last year. And our stats are not loading on our pretty good screen. Um, Click on that. Yeah. Um, I think I made like... 60 total. I, I think that. I made like six a game and shot like 16 a game. There is scary. Let's see. You almost there. Come on. So I'm on my threes... Yeah, he made 60. You shot 161. 37%. That should be f at least in the 40s. Okay. So yeah. You should shoot 40% from three. That's what I would say. You're and I'm hoping game. to make about five a game. You want to up your field goal percentage at all? No, I like mine. They're 39. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but anyways, I get to step back a little bit, and I get to drift around the outside instead of having to try to score every time. Definitely more your style. Yeah. Float. And why is that? It's because we added... Uh, Drew some, to our team. Some kid. So, yeah, my goal is definitely, I'm like a little flip-flop here. My field goal percentage was 40%, which is not not that great. But my threes were like a career low. I mean, yes, I got to shoot at least 35% to, you shot to, to not kill myself. Yeah. What about assists? I think you and Drew might have a little war for assists here. And Stan. And, well, you know, with with uh, the addition of Steve, I feel like Sean's going to... He led the league in assists last year. I was second at 7.09. He had about 7.5, something like that. Yeah. Um, and I feel like the addition of Steve is just going to make him... A lot of assists for yeah. Sean. He got me in steals, too. That bastard. Yeah. And how, how do you see kind of like the year shaking out? Who's the MVP frontrunner for you? <sighs> I'm going to say this weird guy, uh, Drew, will be the MVP. Think so? I think I think it'll come from the winning team and the team that will be undefeated. Us. Yeah, so I think it's going to be Drew. Yeah, it probably should be. Um, or, or a situation where one guy will dominate on their team and kind of statistically. Like Aaron? Like, yeah, it'll just be hard to ignore them statistically kind of thing. Well, Brian's going to put up... Brian and Aaron, Brian and Aaron will, numbers. Yeah, stuffers. they'll be all over the place. My goal is this first game when we have four players. I am just gonna have. I'm gonna ball hog like crazy mm. until it's time to pass. You know, and then I'm gonna make sure I get 20 assists. Reason being, I want it's time to pass every time you have the ball. Okay. Fine. All right. Well, whatever. Moving on. But my goal is to not shoot 25% from three. If I accomplish that, I'm happy. All right. Who do you see leading in rebounds? Might have to go to Steve. I'll go to Steve. Steve's going to lead and, and, and blocks. blocks for sure. Um, steals, I think, could be a little race between you, Sean, and Drew. Yeah, I want it. I think steals and assists are going to be those three. Even though know, Connor Juarez maybe needs to be considered there. I'll, I'll throw this in there too. Uh, Trevor, Trevor, Trevor and Marco. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, you have steals seen especially. A, maybe not. Maybe not assists. Steals especially. Steals. That guy has a motor. They'll steal it from each other. That's true. They're going to have to. They both like to shoot. <laughs> and you have a little Ronnie Doherty rim legend. In yeah, there. they'll get like six steals <laughs> apiece from Ronnie. <laughs> Let's just take the ball from him. Um, but yeah, I think that kind of shakes out um, that stuff. Do you want to look ahead to, to tomorrow's game? Uh, did we do that already? Did we? We did. Line dancing? Line dancing. We did. You were here. You were sitting where you were sitting, and it was about five minutes. All right, that's what I mean. You missed this. Yeah. Call this that line. 
tomorrow, what are you going to... I see what stat? you were saying. Yeah. My stats tomorrow. In the 6 o'clock game... Yeah. Uh, can I just say triple-double? That's fine. I just said, I'm just going to say triple-double. You should get it. Um, I think... I will, I will say this. Two people will get a triple-double. I don't know who they will. Two of us will. I'm like, well, me. I, I, I really don't care about rebounds this year. Nor should you. Okay. And... Uh, I don't want to dribble in this game. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to have to. Ten, ten threes. Eight threes. I'll say nine. I okay. want nine threes okay. tomorrow in the first game. Second Jeez. game is going to be a little harder. I know Trevor Marker are going to come at us. Yeah. For the second game, I, if I were to be legitimate here, I would say I want to shoot above 50%, get to the rim a lot, and get to a lot of free throws because I know they're going to be super aggressive. Okay. Wait, what did I say for a second game? Oh, what should my 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 whole game revolves around threes, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> I'll be at six threes. I hope we have fifteen threes tomorrow total. Hey, there you go. That's fifteen not bad. total. That's not bad. So just bang them all out in game one. Hey, I had thirteen in the game last year. It can happen. Sure. No all right, let's uh, let's go to a little interesting segment here. Um, I wanted to be able to kind of highlight some players, especially some of the new guys. We don't know a lot of people. I think there's anywhere from 10 to 15 new guys. There's some old guys. And so two we, nude guys. And two nude guys. <laughs> so we thought we would do a little game called, uh, what are we calling this? Uh, work. Wait, I need to play a, a quick yeah, this is our. Yeah, this is our training. We do this once a week, so... Or once a podcast. We promised you a train wreck. This was recorded live last year. Goat never had a chance. Yeah, that was actually my Labrador. So this is <laughs> this is our train wreck portion. Uh, we'll bring some wheel of voices later on, but right now what we're gonna do uh, we're each writing down the name of a player in the league, uh, putting it on our foreheads, and then we're gonna have to guess who we are by asking each other various questions about that particular player. Do you want to do it? I think we should instead of alternating, because we'll just go all the same question. You want to just keep going? We'll just go it? through and count how many questions it took. All right. Ready? Here's yours. I'm going to slap this right on your rear end. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you want to go first? All right. On our foreheads, folks. Not our rear ends. Um, okay. I am... Am I... Am... Are you? Uh, over 30. No. Okay. Am I... On Tanner's team? No. Am I black? No. I'm not. Um, wait, none of the guy. Oh, wait, maybe there. Um, am I Mexican? <laughs> no. <laughs> am I getting too racial? <laughs> <laughs> my player fell off my forehead. I didn't see it there. Off your rear end? <laughs> you don't need Stop to just, it. You don't need to just <laughs> guess. <laughs> Uh, ethnicity. Uh, okay, no, I'll get off of that. Am I a female? No, you are not the one female player. That okay, I that rules out all that. Okay. Um, I'm not on Tanner's team. Am I on uh, Marco's team? Nope. You are at seven questions I'm okay, right now. I'm okay. Relax. You get three more and then you forfeit. Okay. Whew. You get socked and then um, nuts. Okay. Am I... So you're on one of those three teams. Well, you're not on our Do team. I have long hair? No. That wasn't good. That was a horrible <laughs> question. You're eliminating one or two players at a time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Four now I have two questions. Left. I have two left. Yeah. Four of your questions eliminated. See, folks, we six, knew this would be a train wreck. <laughs> six people total. Okay. How, did I play football? No. All right, I have to throw out a guess. No, now. you have one more question and then a guess. Oh, okay. Um, am I on goat? 
No. Now you have to guess. All That's right. Question. Am I? Marcus Fort. Oh, I you said are. I'm not black. <laughs> <laughs> you are not Marcus Fort. You are. Andy is long. Go look. What is it? Kenny Acosta. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right. Up. How many questions? I did ten. You had ten and, and then I you failed. Guess, so you lost. All right, go ahead. I'm gonna do a little bit more broad. I I don't think the team thing is fair. Now that I think about it, <laughs> you could ask six and then you did three. Okay, how about this. <laughs> Am I? Did I play in the league last year? Oh, Did geez. you play in the league last year? Yes. All right. Did I play? Shoot. What line was football? I mean, noticed. <laughs> Do you even know? <laughs> Am I on our team? No. Okay. Am I a captain? Yes. Good question. Uh, if you guys get this at home, you can tweet Chime us. Chime in. Uh, yeah, at hashtag glory goat. Am I... <laughs> am I shorter than six feet? Uh, no. I know what it is. Um... God, we're gonna run Am I more than two Johns? <laughs> you you uh, write it too. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take a shot. Okay. You know? Am I Adam Omar? No. <laughs> it counts. We're at 32 minutes. I know. Just you're at take the... it easy. I gotta. I really want to get this. Is the problem. Um. If you don't, it'll be epic failure. Ask a weird question. All right. Do I live in Crestline? No. Like, ask me about my sexuality. I'm just like kidding. your sexuality? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's let's take a side <laughs> from this whole game and ask me. <laughs> complete variable. No, go. Okay, am I... Uh, <laughs> do I shoot threes? Yes. Not very well. Am I Kenny? No. Okay. God, you're awful. Am I Stan? Oh, you just said not very well. Sorry. Jeez. Um... God. What are you at, nine? Yes. I'll give you a hint. Okay. I'll give you a hint. Am I a girl? No, I'll give you a hint. That was bad. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Down. I'll give you a hint. All right. The other, last year, he hit a three in quest line and yelled out, Jesus Shuttlesworth! I'm Tanner. Yes. Yes. Only Tanner would say that. Is Tanner six feet? He's over six feet. Okay. He's taller I than think me. He's six feet exactly. All right. I should have guessed that. That was an awful was game. Easy. Well, that was uh, a train wreck. Is what it was. Thanks for hanging in there. Uh, <laughs> well, we're about wrapping it up. Here, yeah. Right? You guys, we're gonna try to do a goat cast every once in a while, fill you in on what's going on. It'll be. We'll have more. This was total last minute. Yeah. Um, we just had a train wreck of a day trying to upload that media. Hopefully it's on there soon. Yeah, check it out. It's 32 minutes of highlights. I do want to say this. It was only the videos that I had uh, available, and unfortunately there's not as many of some. I tried to mix it up. There's a lot of us. Let's just be honest. There's a lot of a goat <laughs> because those are the videos that I had, but I tried to you know, mix it up. Yeah. Um, so I think, I think we're good. I do. I am excited for the season. I do project us winning, but it should be very competitive. Everyone hang in there. We have to play LG for a few weeks. It should be fun, though. Uh, help out when you can. Domination. We love you. Start with the community. Yeah. Since you have to. Okay, I'll just do it now. Start it over. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh! I was trying to do the. <laughs> <laughs>